Back in May, I made a very basic attempt at working out some of the internals of Bontech Index. Since then, Bontech, with the help of some beta testers such as Steve Builds, have made a number of improvements and revealed more details of how the tool pickup and drop-off release process works without extra motors or servos. I've taken some shots from Steve Build's livestream and some Formnext visitors, and attempted to model the shape and movements of the parts that are partially visible. I think the process is controlled by some sort of very clever cam uh, at the back that engages the gears to move the extruder gears in and out, and also grabs and releases the tool head using the pin near the top. I haven't worked out how the dynamic extruder parts of index work from a different angle, tool pickup via an extrude out move, then locking of the tool head, engagement of extrude gears, and deployment of the release lever at the front. Some printing, tool drop off with Y movement engaging release lever. Unlock using extrude out move, then Y movement leaving tool on rack. Another run of the same moves with the front cover removed, and my guess at some of the internals. different view of the internals that might be inside the tool head. I might not have the cogs and cams exactly correct, but hopefully when more details are revealed, I won't be too far off. A closer look at the cam, which I think controls the engagement and disengagement of the extruder gears, the front release lever, and the tool holding pin. Another repeat of the moves with more parts removed so that it is easier to see the cam in operation. Please let me know in the comments if you have any different ideas on how the mechanism might work. I will release a final version of this video once I can get my hands on the real thing, or potentially a little earlier if Adam from Vector3D releases a breakdown video.